when I visit schools as part of um, the outreach programme, um, I quite often talk about out of bag. And I'm not, by the way, a heaning expert. I should um, uh, um, make that very clear. We've got um, in the department many colleagues who are much more knowledgeable about this than and I, not least uh, Connor Carver, who's a world renowned expert in in this poetry. Um, but I do enjoy talking to students about it. And one of the things we end up talking about a lot is the references to ancient Greece, because I think the students find them quite confusing or almost intimidating sometimes. And there's no reason to, but the sense is like, what are we meant to do with these things? Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to point in a couple of directions. Um, here I'm especially drawing on the work of uh, Joanna Krishkowska, who's the you know, leading authority on um, the relationship between um, Greece and Ireland in contemporary 21st century Irish poetry. Um, one of her statements on this, and this is, indicates one way to go with this, is that for Irish poets, Greece has been a destination for cultural and literary pilgrimage, the quest for a spiritual centre, a mediation site for political reflections and analogy, but also a, a place for chance encounters, fleeting impressions and a sensual tree. So the first thing here is simply that, you know, Heaney is, is not the first Irish poet to be engaging Greece and ancient Greece. There's a thread here that we can follow and thereby kind of understand Heaney within a wider tradition of poetry. But also, as Krzyzkowska makes clear, there's a difference in reducing Greece to a single set of concerns in this poetry. Um, in Irish poetry, Greece signifies a lot of different things and a lot of different contradictory things. Okay. One place you could start thinking about this, um, if you're studying it, is Brian Phil's translations. You know, it's, it's another text that I quite often get uh, asked to talk about it. It's uh, um, often is taken up as an A-level text. And that play is about a lot of different things. You know, it's about politics and um, uh, um, violence and Europe and Ireland and translation and poetry and the classics. Um, but within it, there is this kind of, yeah, say, an ongoing debate about how... Um, how Ireland relates especially to Greece and Greek language, and Greek literature and Greek experience. One of the characters says to a, a kind of a well-meaning but openly um, destructive, really, uh, um, young English soldier, I'm afraid we're not familiar with your literature, Lieutenant. We feel closer to the warm Mediterranean we tend to overlook your island. Okay. Um, there's another more specific way you could follow this, however, and that is to look at um, Heaney's own writing about Greece, his other writing about Greece. And that's most, you know, it's, it's kind of most obvious in um, the collection from 2006, Human Chain, uh, is written after Heaney suffered a stroke, and one of the poems in there is, um, is about kind of connecting to this kind of broken statue. It's called uh, Chanson de Venture, and um, I'll, I'll put the poem at the bottom here. And it's about the relationship between Greece and Ireland but also the relationship between illness 
and recovery and health and medicine and Greece. It's about bodies and broken bodies and it's about memory. And I think a comparative reading of these two poems might actually really help your understanding of um, Out of the Bag and specifically the references to Greece.